Hi everyone, today is International Day of Happiness and we have Paul Dolan here. He's a professor of behavioural science at the London School of Economics. And he's also the author of Happiness by Design. Now he's here to guide us through some of the mistakes that we make about our happiness. It is important not to try too hard to be happy, but we all fall into this trap from time to time. Whether it's organising a big birthday bash or some fun day out, organised fun is a perfect example of where we can often try too hard to be happy. In one study, those who had high expectations about and also big plans for the millennium celebrations were also less happy on the night than those with low expectations and those who had not planned much. Optimism research teaches us that we should expect the best and have a contingency plan for the worst, but it's important not to expect too much or try too hard. Rather than trying to force yourself to be happy, put yourself in situations that allow for spontaneity, where not every single detail is planned out. You might be pleasantly surprised. Accept defeat. Yeah, no, it sounds a bit odd. But if you're anything like athletes at the 1992 Summer Games in Barcelona, you'd be happier if you won a bronze medal instead of a silver one. Observers rated the immediate reactions of the athletes on a 1 to 10 scale of agony to ecstasy. The evidence showed that bronze medal winners were thought to be happier than silver medal ones. You see, while a silver medal winner might be gutted that they just missed out on, a, on winning gold, a bronze medal winner is simply pleased to be on the podium. So sometimes achieving more objectively can result in feeling worse subjectively. This gets to a more general point that often what matters for our happiness is not what we achieve, have or do in absolute terms, but rather how we perceive our lot relative to others. So having successful people around you can be a source of inspiration, but do be careful. Uh, if you want to be dragged up by others, then make sure you're not dragged down by envying their success. Don't use how you feel now as any guide to how you're going to feel in the future. Notice how if you shop for next week's food while you're hungry, you come out with a trolley load of food, far more than you ever intended buying. Projection bias is what we call a scenario where we mistakenly use our current feelings to predict how we're going to feel in the future. We don't just do it whilst planning shopping. Lots of our choices are biased in similar ways. One classic study found that men are more likely to call a woman who gives her a phone number immediately after having crossed the suspension bridge compared to 10 minutes after crossing it. The men project their feelings of arousal in the moment to their future feelings about how they feel on a date with her. When making plans for the future, try to imagine how you'll feel when you experience the consequences of your choice and at least have a snack before you go shopping.